there is my silver dollar school, five. I like to hang out there in the corner. One of my Pictus cats. There goes my little school of Buenos Aires touches. A little hard to see. Uh, I just put these all in this morning, so they're uh, still a little skittish. But you can see they're running around. Um, my green Severum hiding in the corner here. And the uh, gold Severum's out trying to say hi. I have two Pictus cats in there. There's one, and there's the other, along with my bristle nose. Both of them are on there, actually. Cool. Um, two bristle nose, two Pictus, the gold Severum, the green Severum. I have ten of the Buenos Aires Tetras in, five silver dollars, and you can see I've got. There's the intake for the C530, and because I don't have a bubbler in here yet, I made it so it's sloshing around on the top there. Um, so, that's what I've got done so far. I'll back up a bit, and you can see on my wood. Hard to see any fish from back here, but... There it is with plants and wood. Heater, one of the filters. I will be adding another filter to it here in a couple weeks. My Buenos Aires Tetris circling around in there. The green seven is still hiding out back there. It goes around the corner. Silver dollars. Yeah, that's that's the start. And yeah, there goes the bristle nose, so hanging out, chasing each other. Those are still very small, as you can tell. I mean, there's rocks behind it. And here's my hand. You can see they're very small. Um, pretty much everything in here is still juvenile, except for a couple of my Buenos Aires are almost adults. I wanted to have some varied size on those to start with. Oh yeah. My rocks I searched and searched and searched for finding the rocks with good striations and a good pattern to look as much like my background that I made. You can see uh, as similar as I get. My green Severum. The gold's hiding out back there. What's that? Eventually, I'm going to have another filter intake right here, like the same as this one. And then I'll have, because right now I have the intake coming here, and it's outflowing up here on the end. And then I'm going to have the other one going opposite. I'll have the intake right here and have it pumping out in this corner here where it's dug out. Um, so, that's it pretty much for now. I like it. I'm pretty happy with it. And I can't wait to add the rest of my cichlids. I'm going to be adding uh, quite a few cichlids, get some earth eaters in there. For right now, I think it's kind of cool. I'm pretty happy with it. I may or may not add another school of tetras. It's really just going to depend on after I get my other cichlids in there and check them out because 
that group of ten there takes up pretty good little space when they move around and I wanted to do some emperors and some lemons or one or the other but that school of Buenos Aires there actually I'd seen how big they are and how much they move around I might do one more school of like the emperors or the lemons but definitely not both now that I get a good look at it especially because the silver dollars are going to get bigger as well I might just leave just those two I don't know 180 gallons sounds like a lot of water you start putting fish in there and get your decorations in there and that's not much more well guys take it easy thanks for watching and I'll get some more updates on here eventually especially when I get a new filter I uh I'll definitely add some more. You all have a good day.